Now in this lecture we will discuss about addition of deuterium to trans to butene. So this molecule is trans to butene. And if deuterium is added in the presence of nickel, we have to add deuterium and both carbons. So on this carbon and this carbon, deuterium will be added, and double bond will be lost between these two carbon. So this carbon becomes chiral and this carbon also becomes chiral. So product has two chiral carbon. Now we have to identify which of the isomer will be formed in, the, in this reaction. Because for this two chiral carbon, basically total four isomers are possible. In this case, we will have only three because there will be one that has plane of symmetry. These two carbons have same kind of group attached. So in this case, we will have total three isomers. Now we have to find which isomer will be formed from trans to butene. So let us draw the trans 2 butene in perspective drawing. Now addition of hydrogen or addition of deuterium is cis addition or syn addition that is both of deuterium is added either from top face or from bottom face. So addition of D2 is syn addition. So we have two possibility. One is let us say both is added from bottom face. So D2 is added from bottom face. This molecule is planar because this is sp2 hybridized and this is also sp2 hybridized. So this molecule is basically planar in nature. So one can attack from either top face or one can attack from the bottom face. This is bottom face attack. So let us call this possibility A. One can also have top face attack that is deuterium is added from this side, another deuterium is added from this side that is top face attack. So let us call this situation is B. In this case again molecule is planar. So this molecule is planar. Now let us consider part A when we have both groups or both of deuterium is added from bottom face. So we have hydrogen here. So if one of the deuterium is added here, another deuterium is added here. So this will group will slightly lift, this will also lift, this will also lift, this will also lift. So we can write so we will have methyl here, hydrogen here, this one is hydrogen, this one is methyl, and we will have deuterium here. 
Now we can convert this formula into Sahar's projection formula. So we have a inverted y, basically upside y, that is regular y, deuterium, deuterium, methyl, hydrogen, hydrogen and methyl. Now if observer looks from the top, he can write feature projection formula. Let us call this is carbon 1, this is carbon 2. Both carbon has a deuterium away from the observer, so it will go on the vertical line. In this case, left side on carbon number 1, we have hydrogen. On carbon number 2, we have methyl group on left side. 1, we have methyl group right side. And 2, we have hydrogen that is right side. So this is the product from bottom face attack or we can say product from bottom face addition. Now let us discuss top face addition. So we have hydrogen and methyl So you see this time again molecule is planar. This is sp2 hybridized, sp2 hybridized. So we can have top face addition. So deuterium is added here, deuterium is added here. This group will go slightly down, this will go slightly down, this one will go slightly down. This will also go slightly down. So we will have deuterium here and we will have deuterium here methyl, hydrogen, hydrogen methyl. We can draw Saha's projection formula. So we have two inverted y. Now we can rotate this bond so that observer can see this two deuterium is away from the observer. So if I rotate about this single bond with an angle of 180 degree. So we will have deuterium in the bottom. This deuterium is on the bottom. Now after 180 degree rotation, this methyl group will, will go here. And hydrogen will come here because 180 degree rotation diametrically opposite. Same thing is here. Hydrogen will be here and methyl group will be here. So if observer is looking from top, he can write feature projection formula. So this is com number carbon 1, this is carbon number 2. On carbon 1 we have deuterium on that vertical line because this is away from the observer. This is also away from the observer. Methyl group is left side. This is carbon 1 carbon 2 we have hydrogen is the left side here we have hydrogen right side methyl group is left side so let us call this is compound 2 and this one is compound 1 compound 1 we have deuterium deuterium hydrogen methyl and here we have methyl hydrogen Now if you see these two compounds are basically mirror image to each other. So in anxiomers, so basically trans 2 butene on reaction with D2 in the presence of nickel will give a mixture of enantiomer. So if I have trans 2 butene. deuterium plus nickel we will have a mixture of enantiomer and these two enantiomers will be equal in amount that is one is 50 percent another is also 50 percent so final product will be racemic mixture
So you see, you can remember if you have trans 2 butene and addition is cis, final product is racemic. If you have trans 2 butene but the addition is trans, final product will be meso. In these cases, reagent is symmetrical, that is the group that is added either hydrogen, deuterium or bromine or chlorine. So, reagent we have in these reactions X2, H2, D2, X2 means we can have chlorine, bromine or iodine. So, reagent is symmetrical. So, in these cases we have trans 2 butene. So, this is for 2 butene. If this is trans, addition is cis, finally we will have racemic mixture. Trans, addition is trans, finally we will have meso. Now, if I have cis, addition is also cis, we will have meso. If I have cis 2 butene, addition is trans, Finally, we will have racemic mixture. So, this is summary of addition of different groups on cis 2 butene and trans 2 butene, that is, addition of symmetrical reagent to cis 2 butene and trans 2 butene. So, this is summary of addition of symmetrical reagent. to cis 2 butene and trans 2 butene.